Today we're gonna to be venturing to a very strange bridge in search for some exotic aquarium fish. But we do have a couple problems. I'm not gonna be able to do it. It's time to go out in the world's sketchiest kayak. No. This is where there's so many fish, it's unbelievable the amount of fish here. Look at that crab right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Ah, what do we got? Ooh. We are literally actively sinking right now. I'm actually sinking. Like I'm, there is water all underneath my butt right now. We don't have a boat. We only have two options when it comes to how we're gonna get to this abandoned bridge. Option number one is a paddle board. And if I use this paddle board, I am almost 99% gonna fall into the water and swim right into a shark's mouth. So we're not using the paddle board. Our second option is a kayak that I'm 90% sure has a hole in it. And currently, as it sits, is completely filled with water that I can't even move. Ugh, there's no budging this thing. <sighs> I think we're stuck here. So sadly, I'm gonna have to take my chances with the kayak. Now this kayak is literally filled to the top with water. The only way for me to move it is to get a literal jack that you use for a car and jack this thing up to try to get some of the water out the back. You can see that I barely moved it even an inch and it is dumping water out the back. There is so much weight in water. This is literally an immovable object, but we're getting somewhere with this jack. Holy cow, there's a lot of water in this thing. Holy freaking moly. There's a high possibility that we're sinking on this adventure. So we got pros and cons to work with. I can either take the paddleboard, fall in the water, or I can take the kayak and sink. And I don't want to sink miles away from my house. This thing is literally filled with water, dude. We are slowly making progress, but I'm a little worried because as soon as I get into the water with this kayak, I'm gonna immediately be taking on water. Cross your fingers that this thing still floats. I'm definitely worried about it. Jacking it up has caused some damage to the bottom of the kayak, which is never a good thing when you're going far from home. Woo! Ooh, we're making progress. Look at this fire hose. Let's go. We are making progress. This just might be a serviceable vessel. Bottom of this kayak though. This is definitely a risk taking this out, but I'm fish guy Chris and we gotta do it. All right, we're getting somewhere. Ah, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is like, oh my God. We're getting a lot of water out right now. This is so dangerous. This is why I work out for times like this. The best part is, every second that passes, it gets a little bit lighter. That's what I gotta tell myself in order to keep moving forward. I gotta try to flip this thing over. Sorry for the heavy breathing. This is uh, taxing on the body. I'm not gonna be able to do it. It's not there yet. It's not quite there yet. Oh my God. That's a little bit better. There must have been 5,000 gallons in this damn thing. Okay. We're fine. We did it. Holy shnikes, we did it. Woo. Well, here's our vessel. I'd say she's not in tip top shape and I think it might be time to retire her after this video. I've seen some jet powered kayaks that are so freaking sick. They go like 30 miles an hour and it's like a jet ski, but a kayak. I definitely am looking in to get one of those. Drop a like on this video. Do you guys think I should spend like $5,000 on a jet powered kayak? That would be sick. Let's dust off the old orange peel. Now that the kayak is as good as new, we're breaking out something before we leave. We are gonna be setting a fish trap with this gorgeous shrimp. I, I thought to myself, might as well, if I'm gonna go out might as well set a fish trap, come back, and then we'll pull it and see what's inside. We are using shrimp this time with this trap. We only use, whoa, it's king tide, man. It's king tide. The tide is so high, it's like six inches from flooding my house. It's crazy. We used this trap last time with bread. We did catch a lot of stuff, but I want to try it with, with actually shrimp this time because we got a lot of puffers, a lot of glass minnows, but maybe we can get something better with uh, just shrimp this time. So it's like a two layered, three layered trap. I'm just gonna sprinkle it in the second layer here. Now I'm gonna put it right here and it's gonna float there. The trap is set, she's good to go. And we are gonna let that sit while we're on our kayak adventure. And hopefully we make it back in order to actually pull this trap because that kayak is a liability. It's time to go out in the world's sketchiest kayak. It is time to where I have my phone. That's all that matters now. Okay. Look at this thing, dude. <laughs> This is the biggest piece of garbage in the history of garbage, and we're going out on it. Now, when I was cleaning this thing off, I saw frogs and like weird looking cockroach looking things underneath that seat right there. So I'm a little bit worried to sit on that one. So I may sit on the front one and just yeah, hope. But there's weeds growing out. Here. There's literally weeds. How is this possible? Growing in the seat. We got a bucket, we got our shrimp. We got everything we need for a successful day out on the water. And we're gonna try to catch fish at this at this bridge that we can't get to unless we use this kayak. So here we go, we're getting in the water. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck that I don't sink in the water. No. 
lost my shrimp, but that's okay, we'll get it. This is the freaking skip. Oh my God, I don't have a paddle. Don't worry guys, I'm feeling very confident. Very confident that we'll make it there and back. I gotta paddle a little bit of ways. The tide's gonna start going out, so I'm gonna be working against the tide on the way back home, which is not ideal, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm in the kayak. We got our yak. We got our rod, we got our paddle. We are definitely worried, but we'll make it back. Hopefully I don't get attacked by a bull shark because there is major time sharks in this water right here. Like literally right here, there could be a freaking shark. My neighbor down at the end, he says every night he sees bull sharks. Hopefully I don't run into one of those, but I'm going off. Here we go, see you guys. Hopefully I make it back. Hopefully I make it back to that camera, but I'm talking to this camera from now on until we uh, get to the bridge because that camera, that stays at home because I can't, I can't afford for that one to get you know stuck in the water. All right, Jack, see you later. I'm out. I feel good right now. I feel confident. I feel very confident in this yak right now. You know, I didn't work out. I was going to do shoulders today, this morning, and I'm glad I didn't because I would be burning up with this uh, paddle here. Let's go. I'm not going to lie, the tide's already pretty strong, and it's pushing me uh, every which way right now. Left, right, I'm pretty much zigzagging through this canal because this wind and this, uh, this current is kind of hard to deal with. But never back down, never what. Shout out Nick 8. 30. I don't watch any of his stuff, but I'm gonna hit this boat. But I do see him on Twitter and he always says never back down, never what. So very positive statement there. This guy Chris forgot to put sunscreen on. Not good. I've made it a decent distance. We're almost there. My shoulders are burning up and I haven't sank yet. So I'd take that as a plus. I take that as a victory that we have not sank yet. And we're coming up on the spot now. This is where there is so many fish. It's unbelievable the amount of fish here. And we're gonna see if we can get one and maybe bring home for the saltwater pond. This spot is usually low. Anytime there's structure, anytime there's a big piling or something, there's fish around. We've made it. We are right underneath the bridge. We're directly underneath it. I'm hitting the pilings left and right, about to crash into one right here. But maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I'll stay like right here and see if there's uh, any fish right underneath me, right below me. It's very sketchy. Anytime there's structure, there's fish around. But check it out. We are fully in it. We are fully in it. This piling I've never touched before. I'm gonna let the current just take me wherever it wants to take me right now. I got my paddle. We got our rod. Let's see what's lurking in these waters. Shrimp number one. We're gonna use that as bait. I'm kind of excited to see what's gonna be in the fish trap when we get home as well. Shrimp number one. Let's see what we got. There is some very weird noises going on right here. What the heck is that noise? You guys hear that? There's something living in this bridge. That's not a fish. Look at the size of this crab right here. We're gonna try to catch him. I just saw him perched up on this piling and we are gonna try to catch him right now. He went kind of into the water that I didn't get a clip of, but I'm gonna try to catch this guy because I see him. Got him, got him, got him. What the heck is this? Look at this crab. Oh my God, he's pinching. Son of a gun, he's pinching. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that crab right there. He's pinching me. That is one of the weirdest crabs. Bright red claws. Surprisingly, this is the first catch of the day. I did not expect to catch these crabs here at the uh, at the bridge, but hey, I'll take it. Hey, how you doing? I just snagged a crab on a piling that was absolutely sick, and he flung right off my hand and went through the hole of the kayak and back into the water. It's a great time seeing those big, weird looking crabs. I love catching those. Now let's see what else we can find. Guys, we've got another one of these crabs. Another one. I have to try to catch him. Look, he's going up the wall. He's going up the wall. He's right there. No, he just went to the water. I see him down there. We're going to go for him. I see him. No, no, he escaped. One for two on those weird looking crabs. So that crab that I dropped the first time hitched a ride and he's actually right inside this hole here. So let's see if we can get him out of this hole because he's freaking in there, man. Here he comes. Here he comes. No, there he is. Look at that. No, dude, stop running. I'm going to put you in the water now, bro. Look at this guy. Ow, ow, ow. Why do you have to do that? Look at that guy. He found a little spot in the uh, kayak, hitched a ride. Now let's, get, let's put him right back on his piling here. There you go. Later, buddy. No. Missed my first fish of the day. Missed my first fish of the day right underneath the bridge. Okay, okay. We got a nibble. Here we go. This is where it starts getting down, right here. Next piece of shrimp on. Had our fun with the crabs. Now we need a nice fish. I'd say the only thing we got unlucky with was they just opened the spillways and the water is a little bit brown. So those exotic, exotic fish might have swam out to the clear water, but I'm not sure. Still gonna try to find them. This is extremely hard. Keeping myself in position, using the rod and trying to throw a bait and catch a fish. Definitely not easy. No, I missed him again. There is a lot of fish here. I just gotta capitalize. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
What the frick is going on over there? Holy cow. Holy cow. Did you guys see that? That was freaking unreal. Holy cow. There's like 500 mullet right there that just got spooked. And guess what eats those? Black tip sharks eats those mullet, guys. This freaking bridge, man. That is, that's insane. I do not feel safe being on a kayak. I definitely do not feel safe being on a kayak. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Holy shnikes, dude. The mullet are jumping everywhere over there. I wish I had my long camera, dude. That was an insane explosion. Absolutely ridiculous explosion. Oh my God. Those mullet are coming right towards me, bro. That's actually insane. I think we're getting our first fish of the day right here too. Here we go, baby. Here we go. There we go. Ah, what do we got? What do we got? Ooh, ooh, what did I say? What did I say? These are the guys we were hunting for, actually. We were hunting for these blue stripe grunts right here. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're sick, and they're usually not at my dock for some reason. They're usually, rod and reel-wise, they're usually right here. So these guys are freaking awesome. I love these fish. They're so freaking cool. And the reason why I went to this bridge was to catch fish kind of like this, kind of like that yellow stripe, blue stripe grunt. So freaking sick, because catching them on rod and reel by my house is kind of hard. You can only usually catch them by fish trap so we might have we might have some more of these guys in our fish trap when we go home but this guy right here is almost too perfect to let go this is exactly what i was after a beautiful yellow striper baby he's going in the bucket oh what do we got here <laughs> what is this dude this so crazy look how tiny this guy is a tiny little brown stripe grunt these guys are super cool this guy's miniature he's perfect size for the pond so we're gonna definitely bring this guy back home now we have a yellow stripe grunt and a brown stripe grunt and that's specifically why i came to this spot is because these guys are everywhere all the fish with the bright colors usually chill by the most amount of structure that's why we went to this bridge so we can find the fish just like this so right now we have a brown stripe grunt and a yellow stripe grunt even though I don't know why they call them yellow stripe grunts because they got blue stripes. This one is like literally golden yellow, like a golden nugget. He is so bright, so colorful. He's got those really, really prominent blue stripes and he is an absolutely cool fish. Look at that, absolutely insane. So we got our brown stripe grunt and our yellow stripe grunt. Let's see if we can catch a rarer grunt. Maybe like a red one, that would be cool. Let's see what else is around here. I have found the spot where they're at. I sit by this wall right in front of the bridge and they are all sitting right here underneath this piling right here. I think I have another one. Oh my, okay. All right, here we go. You catch a couple cool fish and then these guys start showing up. These giants start showing up. Nobody wants these fish right here. You guys love them, that's for sure but I don't want to catch them. The classic puffer fish, the classic leopard puffer. These guys will smell shrimp from a mile away and start right over to it. The reason why I came to this spot is to get rid of these guys because these guys usually don't hang around here. It's usually the cool grunts. He's blown up for us. He doesn't have the strength. So this guy right here is not what we want. We don't want the puffer fish. I came here to get away from them and they follow me everywhere I go. So we don't want him. We're going to let him go off. Get out of here, buddy. Get out of here, buddy. Swim off. Later. Later, skater. Okay, the puffers may have caught onto us. We gotta try to catch some more fish before all of them start flocking over here. Oh my God, oh my God. I think we're taking on water. I think we're taking on some water here. I'm feeling quite heavy. I think we're pushing our limits, but I think we are literally getting close because I feel so much heavier and this kayak seems like it's gonna go down in a second. Oh no, that was a big one. That was a big grunter. One more before this kayak sinks. We are getting really low. There's water coming in side of the kayak. That means we're getting heavier and I'm freaking worried about getting home. So we're gonna have to really hurry it up here. Whoa, whoa, what the frick was that? Oh my God, my rod almost just went into the water. Oh my God. Now this, on the other hand, this is a mangrove snapper. That's how aggressive he was, that he just almost took my rod completely into the freaking water. Almost pulled my whole rod into the water. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous mangrove snapper. This is a mangrove snapper, not a grunt. So you can see he's got those big teeth on the front of him there. Those things, that's why he's called a snapper, because he snaps those teeth and absolutely hangs on to everything he puts in his mouth. He's got that big, long, tall, spiky dorsal fin, maroon red, absolutely sick. And he almost took my whole rod from me <laughs> which is surprising. That's why I gotta stay on my toes or so I don't lose my rod. Now don't get eaten by a shark down there, buddy. Now I have absolutely pushed the limits of this kayak. We are literally actively sinking right now. I feel it in the, in the kayak. We are so much heavier. When I go like this, I hear the water in the bottom of this kayak. 
Like you, I can hear the water filling up in this kayak and we are going to sink if I don't leave right now. Hopefully I can even make it home. It's gonna be a lot harder, but we gotta get home because we are gonna sink at any moment. I don't trust this kayak. There's literally multiple holes in it and we are gonna need to get a new kayak after this. I'm actually sinking. Like I'm, there is water all underneath my butt right now. Like. The back of the kayak is completely out of the out of the water. It's in the air. We are like, I'm not even kidding you guys. We are, the back of the kayak is fully suspended in the air. We are actively sinking and all the water is underneath my butt. Now, as I'm sinking, I'm gonna try to remain calm and let you guys know that I'm, whenever I catch these blue striped grunts or these yellow striped grunts, they're such a cool fish, but I think they deserve their own pond. So I think I wanna do a native pond in the backyard. I've been talking about it for a while and I wanna get like a 500 gallon, 300 to a 500 gallon big pond on my dock and load it with you know, legal mango snappers. We can do catfish. We can do a bunch of yellow striped grunts. So let me know what you guys think of the idea by dropping a like on this video. If you guys crush the like goal, it'll let me know. I definitely have to set up a saltwater pond, a native saltwater pond on the dock. We are so much heavier and I'm about to crash. I'm about to crash. We've almost made it guys. I see my dock. Home stretch. We gotta paddle quickly. We gotta get there. I'm like a freaking speed racer on this thing, dude. All right, we made it. Caught some grunts. Snappas, puffas, and now we gotta pull that fish trap to see if anything good's in there. That was freaking a crazy town, dude. Mullet exploding, but we made it home with a sinking kayak. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, Jack. Oh my God, I'm back on dry land. I didn't sink, but the boat is literally sinking. The front of the boat is, has so much water in it, dude. It's freaking crazy. Before we pull that fish trap, I wanna put some of these guys in the pond here. The sharks are doing fantastic. The epaulette is eating like a psycho. Just threw some shrimp there and he's crushing. We just recently got this lionfish on the main channel, the fish guys, and we put him in this pond. And he's actually thriving. So we got a lionfish in the pond and he is super freaking cool. Now these guys, I really, if we set up the native pond, I'm gonna scoop them out and put them in the native pond because I think we should set up the native pond in the backyard like a 300 gallon native pond for these guys that would be really freaking cool and upgrade the pond in the garage and then get a 300 gallon native pond in the garage so let's put these guys in and then let's go pull the fish trap let me know by dropping a like on this video if you want to see a giant pond on the dock i've been talking about it for a while but i think i'm finally going to do it i might even do it this weekend let me know by dropping a like on the video now let's check out this yellow striped grunt in the pond oh he's definitely going to come out he's definitely going to come out of the pond once we get that native pond up up and running he's definitely going to he's definitely going to go into the native pond because he is a native fish. That's what I think. I think we're definitely gonna move him into there once uh, we set that thing up. Now this little grunt right here, I could easily feed him to the emperor snapper. No, I'm gonna put him in this pond. I'm gonna put him in this pond because uh, he's gonna be with his friend. And if we do set up the native pond, then we'll we'll have both of these guys in the pond all at once together. We'll have This will be our first two fish to go in that pond will be these two guys. So let's get him in the pond as well. He's gonna dart off. See ya, buddy. The grunts are so fast. They go right to the rocks. Fish trap time. I'm not too sure there's gonna be anything inside of this because we're only out on the kayak for like, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half with it before we started sinking. No, we do have something. We do have something. Okay. One glass minnow, a singular, a singular minnow. But usually at my dock, it's better to get, this is the lone catch is a single glass minnow. Look at that guy. Now watch this, I'm gonna feed it to the predator pond in the garage and it's gonna be electric, watch this. I'm gonna drop this in with the GoPro, this one single glass minnow, and we're gonna see who's gonna eat it. The panther grouper, the more I eel, the shark, or the couple fish that we just got, the the, uh, the sweet lips that we just added in here. Let's see, I just dropped him in. It's gonna have to sink. He's right here, I'm gonna drop him in. He's gonna sink down to the bottom. Fish are so, oh, it was the grouper. The panther grouper just ate him. Absolutely epic. Now this pond right here doesn't get as much love as the one outside and I think I'm gonna change that. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys think I should move this outside next to the other mini pond. I think it would look way better outside and get some little bit more love than being in here. It's just in a weird awkward spot where it's not as appealing. So I think comment down below what you think if I should move this outside and we'll have two mini ponds that are wooden with a window outside. One predator and one community. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right, you made it to the end of the video. Click over here to watch more Fish Guy Chris awesome videos. You will not regret it. I'll see you in the next one.